here. You are actually the TARDIS. I'm a little bit, yeah. We're looking for a brony today. Have you seen any bronies? I have not. Okay, well, if you yeah. see one, let us know. Can you do the noise that it makes? That's pretty good. I gotta give it, you are, you are the TARDIS. So you are the, a Power Ranger family, is that correct? Yes. What, what, what kind of reaction do you get from friends and neighbors when they know that you're Power Ranger cosplayers? Uh, at first they were a little shocked, but then when they saw our, our final product, they were like, that's really cool. <laughs> they were know? cool with yeah, it. This is, this is a great, great costume. It's Thank a you. I mean, it's very well made. Did you make it yourself? I did. Also, this is a great way, if he's ever making too much noise, to go put on your Power Ranger helmet and, you know, it sort of muffles him down a little bit. Morphin Very nice. But for a minute there, it was, in fact, Morphin time for me. How long does it take you to actually get into that costume? A while. <laughs> Depends on if I'm sweaty or not. <laughs> you look really dirty. Who, who are you supposed to be? I'm going as the witch from Left 4 Dead, a special infected. Do you, how many people just stop you and, and, and take pictures with you give, in every given convention when you're wearing something like this? What? My mutation is that I have claws and won't stop crying. So oh. it's pretty accurate for my normal life. So. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And people, I think some people just come here to, you know, be photographed. Yeah. And it seems like well, that's what they're doing. That's I'm, oh, okay, that's kind of what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good. <laughs> you're the Sims, right? Yep. You're all, you're all Sims, except for you. You decided you did not want to be a Sim today. But you just were like, you know what? I want to come to this convention wearing as little clothing as possible. That was pretty much your mindset. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. Oh, okay, bye. Uh, so, so you you make very very impressive balloon Thank you. creatures. How long does it take you to make one of these? <laughs> A lot longer than it should. Have you seen any bronies here today? Uh, I just got one. Okay, we're looking for bronies. If you see any, flag us down. All right. Thank you very much. Who are who are you? I'm the Invisible Man. I mean, I can see you. Do you want to race? I think I'd win. You think so? I'll race you down there. Okay, I'm already right. back. You're already back. That's that's good. You got me. When we were coming in, we saw a booth that said uh, weapons check. Yes. Mm -hmm. They make you. What is what is that all about? They make you check your weapons. They make you check your weapons. Um, some people are not so smart with their prop weapons, and. Um, they look really realistic, and if the police have to get involved, they don't know what the situation is, it's an issue. You could go as the real Invisible Man, but that would basically but just be you walking around naked and you'd probably get kicked out. Yeah, yeah, that would be a challenge. Yeah, a lot of, probably in, in jail for a while. Hypothetical situation. Yeah. If somebody came in with a real working lightsaber, do you think they'd let that person in just for the hell of it because this is a science fiction convention? I would hope so, but yeah. probably not. I think the Pentagon would be involved. The Pentagon would probably be involved. What, what, what is this? I'm Darla from Finding Nemo. <laughs> Fishy! <laughs> okay. The fish is dead. The fish is dead. He needs it's a little a, bit more it's water. It's a shame. He's dead. You killed Nemo. I did. All right. Are fezes cool? Fezes are cool. Very cool. And so are bow ties. All right. That's what I thought you'd say. Geronimo! Okay. I don't, I don't know anything about this, so I just assume you're a door. Like you uh, came to Awesome Con as a door. As a door. <laughs> and I don't, think that's, I don't think that's all there is to it, so tell me what no. you are. In the first Captain America, after he comes out of the chamber, he chases the Nazi down the street, and he's riding in a taxi, and the door falls off, so he picks it up as a shield because he's getting shot at. What the hell are you? I'm Rose Quartz from Steven Universe. It's a kid's cartoon on Cartoon Network. How? How? It's construction paper wrapped around um, pool noodles and glued with expanding foam to the top of a, of a hard hat. That's what I was going to guess. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. exactly what I was yeah. going to guess. Right. Where's, where's your brother? Oh, um, I don't have... Didn't, I you didn't bring him? No. Mario's just at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. show the, they don't show that side. They only show the glamorous side of plumbing. Yeah, when you have to destroy all the spike Koopas that right. get in your drain pipes. Yeah. Right, exactly. I hate when that happens when I have to I hate toilet. that. That's the worst. It's the absolute worst. I hate it yeah. when I get Goomba on my shoe. Mm -hmm. or, can you even see in that thing? Yeah, I can see you. Oh, can you see? oh really? What do, I, what, do I, um, what do I look like? You look like Clark Kent. That's right. Okay, you can see in that thing. That is the actual Charlie Brown, grown up. And he comes to comic book conventions. It's a tiny little Groot. That is adorable. Are you are you a hobbit? I'm a dwarf. A dwarf, okay. I'm a hobbit, though. I have to tell you something. We went to one of these events last year and there were Batman all over the place. Batman. Yeah, Batman. There's 
we've, we've only seen one today, and There's it's only you. one Batman. Tomorrow there'll be a lot. Tomorrow is going to be a lot of Batman here. Yeah. What? You want me to swing a cat without hitting the Batman? <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not coming with my cat. Yeah, well, that's a good. Point. Yeah. Doing this. Who's your favorite Batman? Who's my favorite Batman? It's a, well, physique-wise, it's, it's got to be Adam West. Okay, so you like Adam West yeah. physique? Because it's a lot easier to achieve. Okay. <laughs> uh, where are all the bronies today? We were told that there would be bronies here, and we know. haven't I seen haven't them. I haven't found them either because I was hoping to give these guys home. Yeah. Like, what is a brony anyway? It is a guy who is a fan of My Little Ponies. <laughs> I dated one. Didn't go over well. You dated a brony? Yes, I did. That's how I got into making these guys. You must and have really liked this guy. If you're sitting down watching My Little My Little Pony with him. Hey, I figured I'd try it. Mm -hmm. It was okay. Why not? Got Could it. be worse than some of the things he watched. <laughs> oh God, I don't even want to know. Uh, that looks very um, tight. Yeah. What, what, what are you? What are you? Um, I'm cosplaying Empowered. She's basically a character that wears a skin tight suit that gets ripped all the time. I really relate to her because she's like, uh, she's like uh, white, has a big butt. So. I forgot which character are you? Zant. The Zant. Usurper King. The Usurper King. I played the game. I really did. I just don't remember <laughs> the names. I was probably really high at the time. <laughs> All right, we talked to your brother. He was wandering around here, and he was looking for you. He's kind of disappointed because he feels like he's had to live in your shadow for such a long time. But um, you really need to find him and reconcile with him. It happens when you're the best. <laughs> That's true. So we didn't find any bronies today, but I am now a brony. So I'm enjoying that wonderful world. What are you looking at? What are you laughing at? Nothing wrong with being a brony.